Do you want to be a pro in travel blogging? So here are the 10 travel blogging tips which can make your travel blog more professional. So without wasting much time, let's start the video. So basically there are three styles of travel blogging. The first one is on-screen blogging where the travel blogger used to talk in front of the camera and showing the places around. And the second one is voiceover only where you can see the creator giving voiceover in the background and showing the places around. And the third one is cinematic travel blog where you can see the travel blogger is using voiceover and also talking on screen in front of the camera and showing the places around also giving some cinematic shots of that place. This cinematic vlog style is getting popularity day by day and I am personally following this style for creating travel vlogs. So whatever you do, first you have to decide which style you want to follow and on which you are very much comfortable. This is very very important. So decide your style carefully. So the next one is research. So kisi jaga par ghumne jane se pehle, do research on that place. The more you research, the more you comfortable during your vlog. For example, if you are going to visit Manali in Himachal Pradesh, do research on that place about the history of that place and the local stories and the background story of those sightseeing spots. So in the end, if you are using these elements into your vlog, this can be more engaging for your viewers and that can value added your video. So the third one is planning. So before you start your journey, do a short plan of your whole blogging video. Like will it be a go-to style vlog or you want to add some storytelling in it. Always write down your plan on a notepad. I always keep it on my mobile. Do plan how to start that vlog. What are the words, what are the catchy sentences you want to use during your vlog. And also do plan how to end that vlog. These are very important. See, as per my personal experience, I can say that the execution of your planning always depends on the current location. You may not get 100% output from your planning, but planning always a good start. And the next one is camera setting. Always shoot your vlog in 4K 60fps. Why 60fps? Because in 60fps you will get sharp smooth footage. Also if you shoot the location or any cinematic shot, you can slow down those footage in post processing. So 4K 60fps is highly recommended during your vlog. But if you don't have 4K and 60fps option, don't worry you can still shoot it in full HD and 24fps. The next one is warm up. To go into the flow, you always want to do some warm up. So for blogging, I always start doing it very early of my journey. Like when I am going in local transport or in private car, so it will be easier for me to catch the rhythm and make the flow smooth later on. The next one is B-rolls. While traveling, take B-rolls as much as you can. This is really important to fill up your vlog. Roll your camera while you are traveling in bus, car, train, even in a flight. Document everything around you, document everything during your journey. See, it's better than nothing. Don't make yourself regret when you are sitting at the editing table and you don't have enough footage. So, camera chalte rehna chahiye, mere bhai. Now the number 7 is cinematic shots. If you are on cinematic vlog style, then this part is really very important than anything else. Take cinematic shots like sight-wide revealing, wide font moving shot, font revealing shot, follow shot, g-buff shot, etc. If you have drone, then take some drone shots of that area. If you have gimbal, use it to make your footage more smooth. And if you don't have gimbal and you are taking cinematic shots handheld, then try to take those footage in 60fps so you can slow down it while you are editing and stabilize it. Number 8 is shoot yourself to make it like your viewers are experiencing your journey so closely shoot yourself like put your camera on tripod or gorilla pod then plan the frame and walk through the frame come forward side wide go away from the camera also if you are not traveling solo i mean if you have someone with you you can ask help from that person also to take your footage like follow you from the back or side wide that can give you the actual vibe of that place to your viewers 
also if possible ask the person to take some revealing shots 360 degree rotating shots etc demonstrate the person first to make it more easier and quick to execute and next is number 9 and this is called local vibes and this is my personal favorite like when you are visiting a place when you traveling a place try to interact with local people try local foods and when you are using these elements into your travel vlog it will ramp up the quality of your vlog and lastly number 10 time lapse do take some time lapse during sunrise and sunset this can be used to show how time passes by so quickly so guys these are the 10 travel vlogging tips exclusively for you from my own experience and i believe if you follow this it will definitely value up your vlog so this is it for today i am coming back with another video where i am going to show you how i organize my video files video footage and how i edit my travel vlog so stay tuned with me and subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get notification and we'll see you soon in my next video till then take care and have a nice day